Support Move University in the production of more video tutorials by making a financial contribution or by getting yourself one of these t-shirts. Details under the Support Move section on MoveUniversity.com. The link will be in the description below. Thank you and enjoy. Okay, this video is going to be on significant figures and uncertainty, at least an introduction to both. So what is uncertainty and what does it refer to when making measurements? Simply it refers to the idea that we can't always make an exact measurement when we're measuring things. We are limited by our devices that we use to take the measurements and we're also limited by our senses, right? Like we use our eyes and our ears and our, our noses, right? Um, to, to, to sort of gauge what, we're, what it is we're measuring. So we're limited in our ability to make an exact measurement. Okay, so the idea of some scales are accurate within, you know, within a pound, plus or minus one pound on a scale. So let's say a man's true weight is 180, 185 pounds. The scale might read 184, it might read 186, it might weigh, it might read 185. The, um, the idea here though is that um, we are uncertain, we are uncertain about that last digit, whether it's going to be a 4, a 5, or a 6. Okay. We can, have another, we can have another example in which we have a scale that's accurate to 0 0.01 pounds, right? So the man might weigh 185.03 pounds, and the scale would read um, with, the, with the ending ending in 0 0.02, 0 0.03, or 0 0.04. And in this case, we have a higher level of certainty because we have more digits. Okay. In both of these examples that are mentioned here, the rightmost digit, the rightmost digit, was was the one that we were uncertain about, right? That's the one we're estimating. In both of these examples, we have what's called significant figures, significant figures, which are the digits in the number that that have meaning and contribute to the level of certainty. Okay, so. How do you know which digits are significant? Well, you'd seek out the significant figure rules or sig fig rules. I'll probably just say sig figs henceforth. So, which digits are significant? First rule all non zero digits, which includes one through nine, are significant always. So, in the first example, we had 185, 184, 186. All those digits there are non zero digits. So, they are all significant. So in those in those three numbers, we have three significant figures, three sig figs. Rule number two: all zeros written between non-zero digits are significant. So you notice in the second example, we had 185.03.02 and 0 .04. Uh, the zero here is in between these other non-zero digits, and non-zero digits are always significant. So in this case, we've got five significant figures in each of those three different examples, example numbers. Third rule. Okay. All zeros written after non-zero digits and, and, this is in all caps here, right, simultaneously, and after, or to the right of the decimal point, are significant. So the zero has to be after a non-zero digit and after the decimal point, and it would be significant. Okay, uh, we'll cover an example of that in just a moment. Rule number four: all zeros to the left of a decimal, but to the right of a non-zero digit, are significant. Okay, we'll also cover that. And rule number five, all leading zeros are not significant. Okay, so let's go through some examples here and give the number of significant figures according to these rules. Okay, so we got 0 0.0052 grams. Okay, well, I know according to rule number one that five and two are definitely significant because they are non-zero digits. But what about these zeros? Well, are they written between non-zero digits? Nope. They're, they're leading, right? Are they written after non-zero digits? No, so rule two and three are, are not going to apply. All zeros to the left of a decimal, okay, this one, 
but right of a non-zero digit. Or this is not th these zeros here are to the left of the this, excuse me this first zero is to the left of the decimal place, but it's not to the right of a non-zero digit. So rule number four doesn't apply. Number five says all leading zeros are not sig significant. So these first three zeros are not significant digits. So here we have two sig figs or two sf. Okay. And that should make sense because these zeros don't really carry any meaning. The values that are actually of, you know, that actually mean something are the five two in these in these uh, decimal places here, right? The the number doesn't. It's not an actual. It's not a value until we reach those numbers, right? It doesn't really say anything. Okay. Uh, B five zero four. Non-zero digits there are definitely significant. Zeros written between non-zero digits are significant, so that's definitely significant. There are three sig figs here. So, and I'll put to the side here that for the first one, um, we use rule number one as well as rule number five. And for the second one, we will use rule number one as well as rule number two. Okay, number or letter C. Six, seven, eight, seven. That one's easy. All of them are non-zero digits. That's four significant figures. So that one was only rule number one. D, 6.00. 6, definitely a sig fig. OK. Now, zero is between non-zero digits. These zeros are not between non-zero digits. They're only to the right. OK, so rule number two doesn't apply. All zeros written after non-zero digits and after decimal points. So these zeros here are after the six and simultaneously after the decimal point, so they are carrying meaning and they are significant. So that's three significant figures. So that's rules one and um, three. Okay. Sixty, or excuse me, <laughs> uh, e, sixty point zero zero kilometers. That's pretty much the same thing as 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 d, right? We've got the the number the six is definitely significant. Uh, the zeros that are written after non-zero digits and to the right of the decimal point, that's these two, right? Uh, those are significant. And then all zeros to the left of the decimal but right of a non-zero digit are significant. So this zero here is to the left of the decimal point but to the right of the non-zero digit. So that one's significant as well. So that's four significant figures. And if you ever have a significant figure to the left and a significant figure to the right, all the numbers, all the digits in between those two two significant figures are going to be significant. Okay. So for this one, we had rules 1, 3, and 4. Okay. And um, F, 0 0.0840. Okay. So leading zeros, not significant. 8, 4, those have to be significant. And then the 0 is after a non-zero digit and to the right of the decimal point. So that one's significant. So that is three significant figures. So that one is rules one, five, and um, uh, three. Or one, three, five, however you want to look at it. Hope that video was helpful in introducing significant figures and uncertainty. I have some more things on significant figures as far as the rules when it comes to arithmetic and, uh, and rounding, as well as the idea of exact measurements. Hope that video was helpful. Thanks for watching. If you found that video helpful, be sure to hit it with a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, be sure to share the video with anyone who you think might find it helpful. Thanks and happy studying.